Um, um, it's February 13th, 2022. I made several, whatever, today. Um, the Super Bowl LVI on the opposite side of the landmass has 80 degree weather. I've got snow going on like Iber Siberia style, whatever. So, um, uh, just came on something I've never seen before. Um, it's like the rabbit ear television when it was, um, a radiological tube, T-U-B-E, um, like that era, Lin and Lou is watching the dais of the man of the hour, H-O-U-R. Um, they seem to know everybody at the dais. Like, and that's the amazing thing between when this whole shindig started and where it has experimentally unwound itself. Um, when it was useful and successful and enjoyable and the disgusting filth that we ended up with. Um, so on the dais, apparently there's some man by the name of Don Rickles. I've never heard of this man before. He is absolutely hilarious to watch. Um, but I, I'm like... Does he, what is, I was like, does he do other stuff? And Lynn and Lou are like, why, like, you, like, grew up in a rock? You gotta get out more. I'm like, I've been with you the whole time. I mean, like, really? <sighs> so, then there was, um, oh, then there was a gentleman by the name of Orson Welles. Now, I've heard this name, no idea, I mean, again, I've heard some of these things between when I get taken when um but like the legitimate taken I think cuz there's also another version of it that's um like where the whole and oh, like the machine shuts down and we're trying to whatever in whatever 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 um so Orson Welles came out and he did a thing off of some, like he was reading something, and it was about when the moon hits your eye, like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Like, again, he went through the whole thing, and then at the end he said something, I mean, like, neoclassical. Um, and there's the verbose, like, I don't know what else to say in Family Matters, um, except it's transitioned into something unrecognizable. There used to be a book, a TV guide. People used to have, like, something to look forward to, something to talk about when they went to wherever they were employed or their communities or whatever before society completely took a colostomy bag shift and I have no idea what happened to all the humans. Really, I don't. Um, like, there were these rocks and pillars on the dais that Lynn and Lucy to still remember their names and why they're so significant. Um, then there's some guy up there, Joe Namath. Again, he was on some kind of, like, sports cream commercial for arthritis. That's how I've seen him. Um, I think that's what he was promoting. I don't know. There's so many of them, it, but it's like, so it's, it's forgettable. I mean, it's, I mean, it's like a last ditch effort. Don't get me wrong, but he's in his like early career on this dais with Muhammad Ali and the rest of them. And I'm like, wow, that conversation was very aggressive in a passively aggressive manner for what he actually spoke and the way in which he spoke it. Uh, of course, um, Don Rickles was trying to like 
tap dance through the tulips, but whatever. Um, so, like, I don't, again, but it was rabbit ears transmission through antenna, and it was a set between, there was not a lot of variety, but there was variety written purposely for communications and transmitted purposely for a receiving end before this whatever in a couch potato status. Um, like, my generation, like, not my generation, because I really haven't sat in the couch potato, th like, like, if that's the new throne, I, I mean, they're trying to throw stuff at you. Well, it went from dodgeballs to now it looks like they're trying to throw at you steak knives through the television set. And it's like, <gasps> I mean, for Carnival and the circus coming to town with just by teleportation. Um, so I'm like, I'm watching this and their, their vernacular, their verbiage, their etymology. I find it hilarious on a whole planet of my own. Because I'm listening to Lin and Lou, and then I'm, like, testing the waters with, like, are you alive? Um, and they don't, like, they get it on a different set of crazy talk. Um, and different set of delusions. I'm in a whole separate illusionist reality with whatever. Um... It's like, this is my bird cage, and they're the two, whatever, parrot, parrots, like parents, parrots, you're right, yeah. And then they threw Tia Fru in 1975, and he, I swear he's got Tourette's. Like, if I had to do medical diagnosis, it's Tourette's. He walks to the room, and he's like, Grr! and it's like, why is he malfunctioning that way? And then I think of military stance, and I'm like, all right, so on top of a tank that has a turret and one gun, it does shoot. And, like, there's symbolism and paradox and, like, whatever with how he comes into the room and has a precise conversation, but, like, in subliminal mind frame and mind fuck somewhere else in a fly on the wall for some delusional husband that I actually belong to and eternally flame with in spiritual forever and like knowing this isn't real. I mean this is real to the delusional humans that arrive every day and that wake up to this every day but like this is not my normal. So in that context Tia Freya is more harm than good. Always has been from what I need. But so is Jason. Um, but I could, again, I just, I left a lot. Like I took, I would take my kid and I would just space myself out in how much time do you want to spend together? <laughs> Doing what? Like, mm -hmm. Don't sound like anything I want to get involved in. No. And then it transitioned to get worse, to then it was too much time with just the children. And it's like, is anybody ever coming to save me out of this? I did the silent thing, and the silent treatment, I stayed away from the two New York paper whatevers and I just try to keep myself as safe as possible trying to avoid whatever this is but here we are um, so the credit at the bottom it said G-U-T I think it's H-Y and R-E-N something or other entertainment that it's had credit but I don't like Give credit where credit's due. It's the man of the hour with Don Rickles and whatever. I don't know what year it was. It's not essential. There was one chick on there. One said she had some... She did some... 
police show again I've the details whatever not a, not a, not important um but like that's where it's gone like like they took like the boulders of importance and they made a beach of sand of so being that I'm I mean I say it's a broken galaxy I hear the humans, one of the scientists that actually got somewhere in the world, uh, they call it a dead galaxy, and there's full of dead cities. But again, I don't have access to that level of human either. Um, so it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Ketterus, it's Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. Um, and it's February 13th, 2022. Oh, yeah, the guy, one of the guys said on there, and I forget which one it was, something about where they're going to end up. Like, he said it flat out. I mean, most of the crowd right over the head, unless there was, like, inside trackers, which I don't know how that works. I don't know who they are, and I don't know how or why this has been so misdirected every step of the way. Um, all I know is it's just not right. The illusion's not right. The delusion's not right. Every step I take, it's like trying to avoid landmines at this point. Like, metaphysical landmines, not like physicality landmines. But it's every conversation, I'm like, I... And then I'm like, oh! I mean, it's... It's just not right. It's just not the way that anybody should live. Um, star 1978, star 8378.